President-elect Ferdinand Marcos Jr. announces more incoming members of his cabinet Thursday, May 26 in a press conference that excluded almost all of the Philippine press. Marcos only invites the Kibaloy-owned SMNI, Iglesia Ni Cristo-controlled Net25, and GMA News in the press conference a day after his proclamation. Marcos announces Central Bank Chief Benjamin Jokno is his pick to lead the Finance Department. Marcos also chooses BSP Monetary Board member Felipe Medalla to lead the Central Bank. Jokno and Medalla join Arsenio Balisahan, Marcos's incoming socio-economic planning secretary in his administration's economic team. In a statement of acceptance, Jokno says he will strive to prudently and carefully balance the need to support economic growth and to maintain fiscal discipline. Former University of the Philippines President Alfredo Pascual is also named Trade Secretary. As for the next Public Works and Highway Secretary, Marcos says he is appointing SMC Tollways President and Chief Executive Officer Manuel Mani Bonoan. Marcos is also tapping former Davao del Norte Congressman Antonio Anton Lagdameo Jr. to be the Special Assistant to the President. Meantime, Marcos's outgoing spokesman Vic Rodriguez explains why the president-elect's first press conference earlier was limited only to three networks. At ang tanging kadahilanan lamang, uh, nagpaunlak si President-elect Bongbong Marcos sapagkat ito yung commitment na ibinigay ng aming media team nung kampanya dito sa tatlong network. We did not do it ng one-on-one. We want to be fair. At uh, pinagsabay-sabay na natin yung tatlong networks na nagpahayag noon pa man ng kanilang interes. This is Rodriguez's last press conference as Marcos's spokesman as he moves on to become executive secretary. Incoming press secretary Trixie Cruz Angeles, meanwhile, clarifies her stance on her old tweets where she lambasted the Marcos family. We have conducted, in fact, several lives about it. And uh, I've told my story about how and when I changed my mind about it. Aren't people entitled to change their minds? I think we are, right? 